we can produce the exact genetic copies of the animals, of the elite animals, whether they are racing champions, whether they are good milk uh, animals, whether they are elite bulls, or whether they are uh, they mean beauty queens. How do you get the most out of your favorite pet? Simple. Make a copy of it. Be it those sought after drooping lips or a tall, elegant neck. Technology is helping wealthy clients to replace their most beautiful camel with one just like it. The market for camel beauty pageants and races is booming, and that has driven up the demand for camel cloning. Reproductive Biotechnology Center in Dubai is the only clinic in the Gulf that offers cloning services. At present, we are concentrating on camels because we have so much demand for cloning camels that we are not able to cope up with, with the demand. We have cloned some of the beauty queens also, and they are genetically same, exactly genetic same copy of the beauty queens. Now the question is whether they will, I mean, be beauty queens, I mean, they will be exactly same genetically, but I mean, when the next time, when they will be in the competition, whether there will be any other better than them in the competition, that is the question. Beauty queens are the most popular order. Gulf clients will pay between 55,000 to 109,000 US dollars to duplicate a dromedary camel. Female camels can birth a calf about every two years, including a gestation period of 13 months. Breeding centers use surrogacy to fast track the process. Champion males are bred with champion females. The embryos are then taken out after about a week and put in ordinary camels. Alternatively, DNA from cells in the champion camel's ovaries are placed into eggs taken from the surrogate mothers, who can then produce many calves instead of a baby at a time. The process often draws criticism from animal rights activists. We produced our first baby, which was called Injaz, that was the world's first clone camel in 2009. And from 2009 onwards, uh, then there was no go back. I mean, we keep, we are producing uh, plenty of maybe more than 10, 20 babies every year. Wani, who started working at the clinic in 2003, said his proudest moment was the birth of Injaz, and the worst time was her death. The saddest moment was when the first cloned camel, the Injaz, she died this year. She was bred to a male she has or she had already given three babies so i mean this was a miscalculation in a way